Thanks for joining us. A Minnesota man kidnapped and sexually assaulted just months before Jacob Wendling disappeared is now suing the person who investigators say is responsible. Jared Charles wants answers and closure from Danny Heinrich. Heinrich is a person of interest in Jacob Wetterling's kidnapping. Investigators say DNA links him to Shirel's abduction. This is an opportunity to lift the statutes of limitations on my case, go ahead with the civil law case, and gain closure in all of this. Shirel knows that Heinrich cannot face criminal charges because the statute of limitations has expired. But as he told WCCO's Esme Murphy, a civil lawsuit will lead to more information about his case and the Wetterling case. For 26 years, Jared Shirel wondered who had taken him that January night in 1989 and sexually assaulted him. This would be the area where I was dropped off and told to run, uh, don't look back, or he would shoot. Last October, the day before Danny Heinrich was arrested on child porn charges, Shirel was told Heinrich's DNA matched evidence in his assault but that Heinrich could never be criminally prosecuted because the statute of limitations had expired. First sense was anger, I suppose. His attacker finally had a face, but the questions kept racing through his mind. Was he a stalker of nature? Was he watching me prior to uh, the night that I was abducted? Now Shirel's civil lawsuit charges Heinrich with one count of sexual battery and one count of false imprisonment. I looked at it as um, an opportunity to uh, go forward with my case and, and seek the answers that I've been looking for. The timing is critical. In two weeks, the Minnesota Child Victims Act, which temporarily wipes out the statute of limitations for civil lawsuits in child sex abuse cases, expires. So I was aware that on May 25th, I had to make a decision. While the suit seeks damages of more than $50,000, Shirel knows he is unlikely to ever collect a penny. His high-powered attorneys, former assistant U.S. Attorney Doug Kelly and former chief public defender Dan Scott, are taking the case for free. And we're doing it because we think it's the right thing to do. In his civil case, Shirel will be able to call witnesses, including Heinrich, who could take the fifth and refuse to testify. But other witnesses would have to testify, potentially revealing information in more than just Jared's case. There is no doubt in my mind that collaterally we are going to discover things about the Painesville boys and about Jacob Wetterling as well. Patty Wetterling told Esme today that she and her husband are 100% supportive of Jared's lawsuit. Jared's attorney says that he will ask a judge to postpone that civil case until after Heinrich's child pornography criminal trial takes place. And just today, Heinrich's attorney asked for that criminal trial to be moved out of Minnesota because of publicity.